Welcome back. Go ahead and suffocate the like button. Stick around until the end to see our next disturbing story you can't afford to miss. The Goat Man On the edge of Harper's Woods, the old steel bridge known locally as Devil's Pass cast long shadows even at noon. Rumor had it that a creature called the Goat Man haunted these woods, a being part human, part goat, with the malevolent spirit of the forest running through its veins. They said it protected the wilderness with a ferocious zeal, and that those who crossed the bridge at night risked facing its wrath. Local college students, Alex and Jenna, found such stories irresistibly thrilling. Fueled by curiosity and the bravado that comes with youth, they decided to challenge the legend by spending a night camping near the bridge. With backpacks filled and a borrowed camera to document their adventure, they set off as dusk painted the sky in strokes of deep purple and fiery orange. The woods were alive with the rustle of leaves and the distant calls of nocturnal creatures as they approached their destination. The bridge loomed ahead, its structure an eerie silhouette against the fading light. They pitched their tent on a flat patch of earth just off the path that led to the bridge, the sound of a nearby stream murmuring a constant backdrop. As night enveloped the woods, the pair lit a fire, the crackling flames casting ghostly shadows. They joked about the goat man, daring him to appear, their laughter a mask for the unease creeping into their hearts. Jenna pulled out the camera, filming their campsite setup and the dark path leading to the bridge. Let's go to the bridge, Alex suggested, a mischievous glint in his eyes. It's the perfect time to see if there's any truth to the stories. Equipped with flashlights and the camera, they made their way to the bridge. The old metal structure creaked under their weight, the sound unnervingly loud in the quiet of the night. Halfway across, Alex stopped, shining his flashlight into the dense trees on the other side. Did you hear that? He whispered. Jenna listened intently. A faint, unsettling noise drifted through the air, a mix of a growl and a whimper. She pointed the camera in the direction of the sound, her hand trembling slightly. Maybe it's just an animal, she muttered, though her voice lacked conviction. They continued across the bridge, reaching the other side without further incident. As they turned back, a sudden sharp sound echoed through the woods, the unmistakable crack of a large branch snapping. Alex and Jenna froze, their flashlight scanning the darkness. That wasn't an animal, Alex said, his voice low. He stepped forward, peering into the darkness. Something's there. Jenna clutched the camera tighter, filming as Alex moved ahead. Then, from the shadows, a figure emerged onto the bridge. It was grotesque, a distorted silhouette that seemed both man and beast. Large, curved horns protruded from its head, and its eyes reflected the flashlight's beam with an unnatural glow. The Goat Man. Paralyzed with fear, they watched as it approached, each step deliberate, the clack of its hooves on the metal bridge a chilling counter to their racing hearts. Jenna kept the camera pointed at the figure, her instincts as a filmmaker overtaking her terror. The creature stopped, standing before them, its heavy breathing a harsh sound in the quiet night. Leave, it rasped, the voice not quite human, echoing with the depth of the woods around them. Jenna and Alex didn't need to be told twice. Dropping everything, they turned and ran back towards their campsite, the goat man's warning echoing in their ears. Behind them, the sound of hooves followed, a constant reminder that they were not yet safe, that the legend was all too real. As they fled, the woods seemed to close in around them, the path less clear, their fear mounting with each breath. The bridge in their campsite needed to be reached and passed if they were to escape. But as they ran, the woods around them seemed endless, their escape far from assured. Panting, hearts pounding, Alex and Jenna pushed their legs to move faster through the undergrowth that scratched at their faces and arms as they tried to escape the relentless pursuit of the goat man. The clattering of hooves on the bridge had ceased, replaced now by the softer, but no less terrifying sounds of hooves on forest soil, quieter but constant, always just behind them. Despite their terror, they made it back to the campsite. The fire they had left was now nothing but glowing embers, casting feeble light over their tent and the scattered belongings. Without pausing to gather their gear, they sprinted past, heading towards the main trail that led out of Harper's Woods. Every shadow seemed to stretch towards them, Every natural night sound was drowned out by the blood rushing in their ears, 
and the ominous, ever nearer sound of their pursuer. They knew the goat man was hurting them, controlling their path with his presence. They were being forced deeper into the woods, away from the safety of the town and into darker, wilder parts of the forest they had never explored. The realization struck them like a physical blow. Escape was not as simple as reaching the trail and running home. Jenna, clutching the camera, kept filming, driven by a compulsive need to document their ordeal. If we don't make it, she gasped, her voice shaky with exertion and fear. Maybe someone will find this. Maybe it will warn them. Alex nodded, understanding. Keep it rolling, he said, his voice resolute despite their dire situation. Suddenly, Alex tripped over a root, falling heavily to the ground. Jenna, a few steps ahead, turned just in time to see a shadow loom over him. The goat man, silent now, was no longer just following them. It was about to strike. Screaming, Jenna swung the camera at the creature, hitting it. The impact forced the goat man to stagger back, its form momentarily visible in the camera's night vision mode as a ghastly, twisted humanoid with glaring, hate-filled eyes. Run! Alex yelled, scrambling to his feet. They darted into an even thicker section of the woods, branches whipping against them as they desperately sought cover. Behind them, the goat man recovered and resumed the chase, its movements eerily silent now. They found themselves at a steep decline, the ground slippery with wet leaves and hidden roots. Half sliding, half running, they descended into a narrow gully that ran with a small, ice-cold stream. The gully seemed to lead into an even denser part of the forest, one that even local legends spoke little of. As they paused, catching their breath, the surreal silence of the gully enveloped them. No sound of pursuit reached their ears, but the relief was short-lived. The forest around them felt charged, as if they had entered a realm where every tree and stone was imbued with watchful, malevolent energy. The camera, Jenna whispered, turning it to face their path. The night vision painted everything in a ghostly green hue. She panned around slowly, her breath visible in the cold air. As the camera swept past a large, moss-covered rock, the screen showed a figure crouched behind it, a figure that hadn't been visible to their eyes. Turning to look directly at the rock, they saw nothing. But when Jenna pointed the camera back at it, there it was again, the goat man, watching, waiting, its form distorted and blending almost perfectly with the forest. It was clear now why they hadn't heard it approaching. It wasn't just following them, it was everywhere, a part of the woods itself. With hearts sinking, they realized the depth of their plight. They were in its domain now, a part of the woods forgotten by time and untouched by human presence, where the goat man was not just a creature, but a spirit of the forest itself, omnipresent and all-seeing. Their escape seemed impossible, the forest too vast, the goat man too intertwined with its very essence. As they stood frozen, the camera's green light bathing them in its eerie glow, they understood that the woods might not ever let them leave. As the realization of their desperate situation sank in, Alex and Jenna knew they had to make a decision. The eerie calm of the gully gave them a momentary illusion of safety, but both understood that they could not remain there. With the goat man virtually omnipresent and blending into the forest itself, every second they stayed increased their risk of capture, or worse. We need to keep moving, Alex said, his voice barely above a whisper. If we can get out of these woods, find a more open area, maybe it won't follow. Jenna nodded, her grip tightening on the camera, which had become their unexpected ally in this nightmarish landscape. Let's head upstream. It might lead us to a road or a clearing. They followed the stream, its cold water numbing their tired feet as they waded through. The dense canopy above was slowly thinning, suggesting they were moving towards the edge of the forest. Hope began to flicker in their hearts, spurred by the increasing light that suggested a nearing exit. But the forest was not done with them yet. As they neared what looked like the boundary of the woods, where the trees began to clear, they heard it again, the unmistakable sound of hooves, this time accompanied by a low, guttural chant that seemed to come from all directions. The goat man was calling to the spirits of the forest, invoking ancient and dark forces. Panicked, they broke into a run, their legs aching as they pushed through the last dense underbrush. The chanting grew louder, more insistent, and they could feel the eyes of the forest upon them, watching their every move. Suddenly, the ground beneath them gave way. 
Unseen in their frantic escape, an old erosion pit, hidden by the undergrowth, opened up like the mouth of the earth. Jenna and Alex fell forward, tumbling down into the dark, wet depths. The camera flew from Jenna's hand, landing on a ledge above them, still recording. They landed hard, the air knocked out of them. As they tried to catch their breath, they realized they were not alone. The pit was shallow enough that they could see the silhouette of the goat man standing at the edge, looking down at them. His figure was backlit by the moonlight, his horns silhouetted against the gray sky, his eyes glowing faintly with a malevolent red light. You cannot escape, the goat man intoned, his voice echoing off the earthen walls. You are part of the forest now, bound to it as all things must be. With that, he turned and walked away, his form merging with the trees until it was indistinguishable from them. Alex and Jenna were left in the cold, damp pit, the sounds of the forest resuming around them as if nothing had occurred. They huddled together, shivering, as the reality of their fate sank in. They were trapped, part of the forest's ancient and forgotten lore, with little hope of rescue. Above them, the camera continued to record, capturing the last flickers of moonlight as clouds covered the sky, and the forest closed in around the pit, sealing it off from the world like a forgotten grave. The tape would run until its battery died, a silent sentinel to the lost souls of Harper's Woods. Thank you for listening. Now watch this video 